Right, let's start stripping this down. Let's see what we're working with. And let's see what we're going to do with it. I'm thinking of like a commuter bike, budget bike, commuter, keeping it cheap, maybe slick tyres, some stupid handlebars, maybe a rack, try and get some cheap panniers or something like that. Um, and kind of make it as cheap as possible. But let's tear it down. Let's see what we're kind of going to be working with here. I did already spray a bit of lube on that uh, seat post and bolt as well. So let's find out. So uh, yeah, let's crack on stripping it down. Go from there. Oh. No playing the thrill, buddy. Spins all right. It's a bit. Look at the colour of that. Uh, I think a bit of a service. That'll be all right. It just depends if we can, uh, if we can true the wheels, then. Uh, we might be able to use these, give it, give everything a good clean up. As you can see, it's uh, a bit crusty. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I think I'm going to have to put some gloves on for this. Uh, Let's just cut through everything. Let's just get everything off. That looks in relatively good condition. Save that or use it. To be fair, the brake arms seem relatively fine. Might reuse them. The pads, I think, are probably going to have to be replaced because when they're old, they don't seem to work that well. And obviously, if I'm going to be building a kind of commuter bike, I'm going to want good brakes. So, you've got to stop. Well, I'm liking how this bolt's coming out so far. May that continue across the rest. Although that don't want to come off. Right, we'll kind of save all the bolts. Because at the end of the day, we want to save as much as possible. Now what I'll do late after I've got this majority of this stripped down is we'll take a look all the parts that have relatively gemmed well come off this uh, so do that front neck yeah it's a bit rusty Surprisingly enough, that spin's actually quite nice. There's no play. We might actually be able to save this. It's not looking too bad to be fair. <coughs> Alright, let's spin the camera. Let's see if we can actually get these off without stripping the threads. Alright, first off, let's see. Oh. Loosen these pedals off. Oh, that one's a bit tight, that one is. Yeah. 
not the worst bike I've had. Not too bad, a bit crusty. They are. Oh, they are the Tioga pedals, so maybe they're the original. Now for the crank. Still got the caps, Shimano caps. Fair, they don't look too bad. Just make sure you get it in as square as possible because the last thing I want is to have to smash this crank off because it's not looking too bad a condition and if I can save it because the crank arms all look straight the pedal threads look fine, that's just screwed in, so if we can keep the cost down, it just means we'll have a little bit more budget for doing the smaller little details because as I can see already, obviously the bike, <coughs> if you watched the last video yesterday, is a pot. A 21 pound price on the bike one for the hour that I took to go and get and for petrol um, I already know I'm gonna need tires and inner tubes and I'm gonna need new brake pads and cables so I've got to factor in that into the cost but what do you think it's not really it could just be covered by the dirt, but all in all, that, I reckon, might be salvageable. Right. Well, that's it. That's good. All right. That's it. From, let's see if we can get the other end off. Wow, that also came off quite nice. The thing is about this, I find it amazing. And it probably happens all over the world, right? Because this is where most of my uh, old bikes come from. The taper, it's a bit dirty, but it doesn't look too bad. Pedal threads look good. Could do with a bit of a polish. But right, we've got a crank. Oh, bottom bracket. I'll get the big ball on this. Right. Let's loosen off the plastic cap. Oh. Right. 
plastic cap itself is a bit tight, but it moved. All right, fingers crossed for the drive side cup. All right, get that on nice and square. Oh, oh, to be fair, the actual metal cup is a lot easier than the actual plastic cup. So, let's get this out and have a proper look at what we're dealing with. Ah, oh, to be fair, it's a bit grimy, a bit of rust. I reckon that'll be saveable. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, I reckon all over the planet there's just bikes, satin gardens, satin sheds, and they're not being used. And people think getting into cycling is expensive, or building a bike that suits you is expensive. Which I think, with what the mullet mechanic wanted to do, and Second Life Bikes and the rest of the two YouTubers and myself is that you can generally pick up a bike relatively cheap, fix it, make it how you want it and keep it below a budget. Uh, that's dry and crusty so no wonder that took a bit of extra to come out. Let's flip around the camera, I'll show you the bottom bracket. All right, so this is where we are so far with it. So, all in all, that doesn't look too bad, to be fair. Don't know about the frame. I can't, I've been round and it, I reckon it will polish up quite well. <coughs> so, the seat and seat post is what I'm worried about because apparently some it's stuck. I don't know which one. Hopefully it's just the bolt. So if it's just the bolt, then I can just drill off the head um, or summit. I don't want it to be the seat post. Um, the mechs, the mechs I looked at. So still got the sticker on it, look. A bit, bit rusty and a bit crusty. But I think... That through, a parts, through the parts washer, a really good scrub and a really good clean up, we can get that working quite well. The mech, I was a bit worried about, let me show you. So, because the mech wasn't actually on the bike, I was a bit worried that there was going to be something wrong with it. But, that looks quite straight. The threads relatively look alright. So... Jockey wheels look fine. The threads in there, let's have a look. Mm, they could be a bit chewed up to be fair. Might have to run a tap through that. Yeah, I can't. Right, well that is going to be a voyage of discovery. Right, we'll have a look at that first, because if that's knackered, um, I might have to rethink the bike. Uh, five millimeter, five millimeter. All right. I think we're gonna use that. it is I'm probably going to swap out the handlebars um, and maybe the stem for something a bit more different all right let's see if we can get these levers off oh look at that don't come off that easy usually 
Oh. Actually, not too bad, then. Hey. Ah. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm using that lever to just push that grip off. There's another one. They're not too bad. All right. Let's get these cables off. All right, so that was the left hand one. So that one seems to work fine. If I can clean these up and get them working, I'll keep them on and I'll use them. But the right side one seems to not work. So, but I have stripped down shifters and saved shifters many times in the past. Usually a bit of spray oil. All right, so pull them cables out of the way. All right, so that's the top one. Yeah, see the bottom one. I'll show that. So the top one, it's working a bit for that bottom one. Yeah. Right, well. That's going to need a bit of work because that's, that's supposed to spring back like that. Push it and it don't do no. All right, so that's going to need a bit of work. So we'll see about that one. Push this down a bit. All right, let's, uh, well, that's already loose. Let's get the joys of this stem. Just a bit of a knockdown, free that cheese wedge, because as you can see, they're always rusty and they're always nasty. Like I said, those probably not going to use. I'll save them, but I'm probably not going to use them, so... Alright, they don't feel too bad. Yeah, that don't look too bad. A bit rusty. Likelihood is... No, that's not moving. Yeah, that's not moving in there. Now the headset has got loads of like rust and so on. Can maybe try and clean them up. Now, to be fair, that don't feel too bad. The cups look a bit rusty. That is bloody promising that. The bearings don't look too bad, look a bit grimy. So maybe I can tidy them up. I think that, might be able to tidy that up as well. Uh, again, brake arms seem like they Ah, why is it with cable ends always get you? Oh, yeah, they seem okay. Yeah, might be able to use them. All right, pop that down there. I've got the other bearing, so the bottom bearing. Oh, that looks nasty. Bottom cup, top one I'll leave in, and the bottom one I'm gonna knock out because that's so rusty there. I'll take that out, maybe I can, maybe I can clean all these up and spray. I haven't got no spray, so I'd have, to, I'd have I'd have to I'd have to buy some spray. Um, Panland. I think Panland do cheap spray. 
Maybe I can buy some spray. Maybe I can spray them either back to silver or black or something like that. Give them a sand down, but let's knock that out anyway. Ugh. Because it's an inch, it all won't knock it out. Oh. Okay, maybe I'll just clean that. Right. It doesn't look too bad. Right, I'll come back to that. Uh, what else are we going to take off? Right. Let's take off all these bits of cable. They're not going to be salvageable. No. Nope. Uh, let's take off this bottle cage. Might as well do it all the way down to the frame. Fair. Tioga. <clears throat> Might put that back on as well. To be fair, I'm not seeing any link here right i'm just going to take it off i'm just going to take it off if we take it off i'll come back to it might be all right we'll find out all right we'll, we'll come back to all that mess we'll come back to all the mess on this table i will show you in a minute all right um, let's have a look at how bad this is. Fingers crossed, it's not as bad as, uh, I'll tell you what, it is actually Reynolds 500 Chromoly All-Terrain frame tubes, right? But this, Jesus, weighs a ton. Wow. Right, let's, let's have a look at this. Come on, baby. Well, that size rounded off, so I'm not getting it in there. That's not a good sign, is it? Yeah, I think it's the bolt. Might have to snap this off. Let's move in. Uh, whoa, -ho! yeah, baby. Ah, oh, yes. All right. Take that out, or maybe, maybe the seat post was stuck as well. Maybe it's, uh, see, penetrating fluid. Always bang a bit that down. All right, let's have a look at this bolt. Oh, oh okay. Pop that down there. So, it's got, I don't look too bad. I, don't, I can't, I don't know what was stuck, but that, that was tight, but that is going to have to be cleaned up. Maybe I can clean it. If I get some spray paint for the headset, maybe I can, uh, maybe I can spray that, protect it a little bit. All right. All right. Well, that's the Claw Butler Oracle. Strip down. <laughs> Let's have a look at that. Get the taps out. Right, big shout out as well to the gentleman who had asked a question this morning. Um, really apologise. Don't. I, I'm useless with names. Honestly, like I, I don't know. I have like just brain farts and I don't remember names that well. Uh, he did ask about the taps on the frames um, and just make sure I actually gave him the right information. So if you look on there, it's an M10 by 1.0. If uh, M10, oh, it's not. Well, that's the tap anyway. <laughs> So let's uh, let's see what that's going on there. All right. So let's get a bit of uh, cutting fluid on there. Yeah, the 
threads have definitely seen better days. Right, come on, line up. Right, so let's make sure that's straight in there. Uh, that is looking straight not from your point of view it's at an angle but so pop a bit more fluid on there and then let's run that tap through always backing it off just ever so slightly Undo it by hand, that's good. Steel frame, so it should should be. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, they're good. Alright. Yeah, they are good. Alright, see if I can get a better view for you. And they're looking fresh. Right, what I'll do is, I've got a Dior mech, quite a newish one, that uh, I can use just to check, but that feels good anyway, and it looks good. So we'll just see if this one bolts up. Yeah, nice and tight. Yeah. Nice, so that's good. All right. I'm not using this mech, by the way. That's this in summer that's coming out of my parts bin. Uh, yeah, sweet on that one. Well, all in all, I think I've got lucky with uh, this bike. Uh, it's not too bad. I'll do the old uh, camera thing in a minute and have a look at some of these parts. Um, I think I'm gonna use the majority of the brake arms are good and that lot, but yeah, we'll go through that in a minute. Let's give the bike, I'm going to give the bike a quick wipe down today just so I can have a quick look at it. And then what I'll do is probably tomorrow is I'm going to jump in the other shed and I'm going to find the teacup. Um, I think I've got half a bottle left from like a second life bike stage. It's one of those things you have for years and that lot. Um, yeah, so I'll jump in there. I'm not looking forward to it because it's full of crap. Um, but I'll jump in there, maybe later, maybe in the morning. I'm not at work tomorrow anyway, so. Um, and then give the bike a good, like, clean down. And then when I flip the camera around in a minute and we look at what parts I'm going to use, um, I may just stick those in the cleaner. Um, yeah, let's give this a quick, quick work down. I'll speed this bit up. All in all, that, that's just a quick clean as well. Just a quick clean, but it's come up quite nice already. I just need to do a bit of uh, Second Life Bikes uh, polishing. I've uh, got the wheel down there as well, that's the front wheel. That is in pretty much the same condition as the back wheel. Um, I haven't polished the forks down yet either, so. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the tear down. Let's have a look at what parts we're going to be uh, using on this, and then we'll go from there. Right, as you can see, the workbench is in a bit of a mess. Right, well, we're going to be using those because that looks good. 
don't know about those two teeth there. Might just pick up teeth. That one looks a bit flat. Right, well, we're going to be using them so they can go into the cleaner. Bottom bracket feels relatively smooth, so we can reuse that. Wherever it land that, that needs a really good clean as well. Um, those we're not going to use, they're going in the recycle bin. Well, I'll donate them to someone if they want them. Uh, seat and seat post needs a good clean up. So, seat actually is not too bad either. It's a gel one, it's got no cracks in it or out. So, maybe as a, a kind of commuter buyer, that might be all right. So, we can tidy all that up. Don't want reflectors. We'll keep that. Uh, pedals will clean up. They feel all right. No massive amounts of play in there. So we can save them. Yep, same as that one. Also got reflectors on there. Yeah, they'll do. Grips aren't in bad if I don't use them. Because likely I'll do it, I'll, I'd prefer to have like some kind of ergonomic grips on there. Um, let's have a look. Uh, headset. Headset we're going to have to keep anyway because it's an inch threaded. And I don't have one. And I don't want to buy one. But they don't look too bad. That one's got like its own ears on it and stuff. But I might just clean these all up. Polish them. Because it's only spotted rust. Bit of patina. You know, the mullet mechanic, he, he likes his patina. Uh, uh, I don't know about that because I might change the stem so I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Front mech, I'm definitely, I think, I, I think I'm going to keep the drive. Don't know about the chain, I'm going to give it a clean and proper inspect it. Uh, the mech again, that go through the parts washer. Jockey wheels generally look fine on there. Um, shifters, yeah, I don't know about this one. That 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 bottom, it could just be a jam cable. So I'll have to pull open all of that. Um, so that will probably be on the next video. Uh, cables are all going in the bin. Cantilever brake arms, they're all good. I will probably replace those although there's lots of life left but the likelihood is that rubber just ain't yeah that rubber's probably dried out and probably won't work so we we need to them um, but it looks like it's all a sear as well so it's just been sat kind of just dying a bit and sitting in the garden and stuff so uh so yeah, all in all, there's another piece of the headset that needs tidying up. There, good. Seat bolt, that needs some love. Uh, chain, maybe. Uh, we'll save them. Although, a <sighs> bit rusty. Um, I'll have to shoot loads of oil down there as well, clean it out. Um, they don't look too bad. So, they're going to bend. Yeah, all in all, not bad to start with what I've got. So, all of that pretty much needs cleaning. So, yeah, there we are. So, all in all, not bad. Um, now I've actually stripped it. And I've actually looked at stuff. Uh, I don't know. I'm a bit confused. I'm a bit confused. I think I'm going to go for a commuter. I'm going to try and keep the gears. Slick tyres. I know Billy Bonkers, you can get those relatively cheap. Um, I ain't got a rack. And I ain't got no pannier bags. I ain't got no ergonomic grips. I ain't got no inner tubes. Well, I... I have, but I don't want to take any of my wheels apart on other bikes for inner tubes. So, £21 in. I am going to go and maybe have a look through eBay. And yeah, I'm going to go and have a look at parts. Um, I'm off work tomorrow. There's a few little kind of like 
second-hand bike shops and stuff near me so I might I might jump on my bike and go and be cheeky and see what kind of cheap stuff I can get I want different handlebars <sighs> That's it for this video. I need I need to go and think. My brain's my brain's just a brain fart at the moment. Um, yeah, we'll go from there. So join me back on the next video in the next day or two. Um, we'll get some parts sorted. Need to have a look at the wheels. And um, yeah, see you on the next one.